This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hey guys, I'm Alexandra and welcome to season three of my rental reno. I've moved out of the treehouse and into my brand new two bedroom home. I'm gonna be making over this space start to finish, room by room. I'm so excited. Am my camera ready? Hi neighbor, don't worry. <laughs> new selfie spot. Cute. This has been a steep learning curve for me. There's no more pink, I swear. Let's get started. Today's video is so exciting because it is an empty home tour of my brand new apartment that I am moving into with my boyfriend, Noah. In today's video, I'm actually going to go to the apartment. I'm gonna walk you guys through from like the entrance all the way to the third floor and show you all of our brand new rooms. And I also talk through my preliminary ideas, like my design plan. So before we head off, to the new apartment. I wanted to talk about this week's sponsor, Squarespace. If you guys don't already know, I have a website built by Squarespace. It's alexandragator.com. And there you can find pretty much anything and everything to do with Team AG. I have a link to my Amazon shop. I have a link to my merch. And it's also a place where you can buy a spot for my virtual makeover service. I release about five new spots a month. There's also a waiting list that you can sign up to. And that is what I love about Squarespace. It lets me do so many different things with my business. It's just easy to customize and make it feel elevated and like your brand right off the bat. I know so many people right now are thinking about starting a side hustle, maybe a blog, maybe a small business. And if that's you, I would highly recommend using Squarespace. If you are thinking about starting a brand new website, head to squarespace.com to start your free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use my code, which will be right up here to get 10% off your first website or domain. Okay, are you guys ready to go see our new apartment? Let's go. So I actually haven't seen this apartment um, since we viewed it because I have been isolating long story that we'll talk about some other time. Yeah, Noah's already been here twice, so this is the first time I'm seeing it with you guys. I'm so excited. So, okay, this is the entryway. It's super, super roomy. So there's shelving. I'm gonna put baskets up here. There's a place to hold jackets. I'm thinking my Ikea shoe cabinet will go down here somewhere. This really fun, kind of like retro light, beautiful stained glass. So this is all being tiled by the landlord. Um, he's gonna do some ceramic tile for us, which will be really nice. And then this is the first flight of stairs. So tomorrow actually, all of this carpet is being removed and I'm gonna be painting these stairs black. We think they're wood underneath. So it'll just be like a really matte kind of black staircase moment, which will be really nice. So then you come up here, so the first landing, this carpet's gonna be removed as well. I'm not sure what I wanna do here. I'm thinking maybe like a mirror of some sort. Not sure. I love this little cutout. Cute place for keys. Okay, and then this is the main area. All of this floor is getting completely removed. We are working with the landlord to make some changes. He's an architect, he appreciates good design, and he was gonna make some upgrades to this unit anyway, and I was like, well, I can help. So we're kind of working together, which is really, really exciting, and kind of the perfect situation for you know what I do in my job. This is the floor sample. It's going to be so much brighter. They're wide planks, so yeah, it's just really gonna brighten up this whole space. So that's being done, I don't know when, but the floor is being ripped out tomorrow and then hopefully we're having the floors installed sometime next week. So I am working with Stuga, an amazing, amazing floor company. I'm gonna talk more about them in a, a different video because there's a whole video dedicated to like flooring and how we picked the flooring and different kinds of flooring if you're looking at ripping up your old floors. Okay, so then you come and you turn into the kitchen and you find a Noah. And you find a Noah. The kitchen is being upgraded as well. I think that's gonna be a separate video. I can't really 
wrap my head around refreshing a kitchen right now. Um, so I think we're gonna focus on that in the fall. I have some idea of what I wanna do. It's in really good shape. The countertops are so beautiful. They're real stone. There's so much storage in here. Like, like an obscene amount of storage. Um, we have a microwave, which I've actually never had. Did you ever, ever have a microwave growing up as a kid? Mm, no, not really. Yeah, so I also didn't grow up with a microwave. I really didn't want a microwave in my home, but Noah was like, I really want a microwave. So it comes with a microwave, which is great news for you. The fridge is actually broken. We are gonna be getting a new fridge, so that'll be part of the refresh. This light is, is nice, but I might end up changing that. This bench is amazing. It has storage underneath it, so much storage, and it has cushions. So I'm gonna reupholster the cushions and just make this a cute little reading nook. It's actually like quite roomy to sit in here. Ooh, also look at that natural light. New selfie spot. So TBD on the kitchen plans, don't really know, but it'll look great. This is a huge pantry. So this is probably gonna be our utility closet, maybe where we store like luggage, cat food, dried goods, vacuum. I'm actually, I forgot how big this was. Then you walk into the living room. First of all, this stained glass window, can't even handle it. Um, and I just love how our living room looks out onto a tree. It's like the tree has 2.0. Then there's this just utility cupboard that is gonna be closed all the time. I am obsessed with the molding details. Like it's just, so, so beautiful. The fireplace. So this is gonna be our dining area. This walks out onto the patio. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go out there today because I just don't know how much you can see. Let's head upstairs. So all these stairs, um, the carpet is gonna be taken off and I'm gonna paint them white. And then I'm gonna do a beautiful runner like all the way down the stairs, which will be super lovely. And then this is the hallway. So I'm thinking I'm putting the bird chandelier that I have in my living room right now here. This is the second bedroom. So this is gonna be Noah's office slash guest room. I think down the line, it would be so fun to do some like built-in Pax wardrobes back here. Noah's desk, I think is going here. We're gonna have a beautiful rug, maybe some book storage here. But yeah, we're, I'm gonna do a whole video dedicated to this room, but it's really cute and lovely. This is the laundry closet. There's laundry in here, which is amazing. Okay, so this is the bathroom. The bathroom is one of my favorite rooms. I just, I love it so much. So we have a clawfoot tub, a rain shower, which is so fun. And there is just so much storage in this bathroom. Coming from the treehouse that had no storage at all. <laughs> so much storage, this beautiful window. My plan in here is to switch out these wall sconces, do like an arch mirror. I'm thinking I'm gonna paint the tile white. I really love this towel bar. It's a nice, nice little decorative moment. Tons and tons of storage here. So I just think I'm gonna put like my skincare on top of the shelves, have candles, it's gonna be so nice. I am British, so I love baths. <laughs> and I just cannot wait to have a bath. Um, I'm gonna have a little stool here with like a candle and some bath soaks. I haven't told Noah this. <laughs> but I ordered a pom-pom shower curtain. Yeah, I ordered a shower curtain yesterday. No, you didn't. No, I actually did. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Oh, but you want to really fight. He's really mad about the shower curtain, guys. Okay, I'm thinking also like a kind of like distressed um, Turkish rug might look really, really nice in this bathroom. Obviously, we'll have to put a bath mat over it when we're using the shower, but it's just so big that I think it could be nice to have. Okay, and then this, this is our bedroom. The thing I love about this bedroom is that there are trees. Like that's all you can see out the window. And it's actually, it's showing really bright on camera, but it's a pretty like cozy dark room, which I really like. And our plan for this room is to just make it like 
really, really, really bright and airy. So we're gonna bring in lots of light woods. We're gonna keep it like very, very calm and serene. There's not gonna be like an abundance of stuff in here. It's gonna be very minimal. In terms of closet storage, there's these Ikea units. Noah's bike is in front of them, so I can't open them, but they have tons of storage. I'm gonna have one, Noah's gonna have one. So this floor is staying the same, um, just because we love it, we love it so much. But out here is gonna be the new floor. I think we're keeping the floor in the second bedroom, so. So look at the detail on the wall. That's the tour, guys. You ordered a shower curtain. <laughs> it's but, pink, isn't it? No, it's actually not. It's black and white. Am I camera ready? I don't know if you're ever camera oh. ready. What I was gonna say is, um, we are working pretty closely together to design this space because Noah actually has an opinion. Shocking, I know. But it's been such a learning curve because there's been like a lot of ups and downs, I would say. Like the example of me ordering a shower curtain and Noah getting mad is pretty much not a day-to-day -day occurrence, but... I feel like that's like not a unique to us thing. You don't think so? Viewers, I feel like this happens to you all the time. We'll talk about tips for this later. <laughs> we actually are. We're going to do a video together oh. where we talk about the process of designing with a significant other. So many people ask me that question all the time. This has been a steep learning curve for me <laughs> about how to be collaborative, <laughs> which I would not say I am by nature <laughs> when it comes to design. Yeah, what's your favorite room? Um, I think the living room area. I Ooh. love the stained glass. So glad you guys are seeing it with the old floors and the carpet because it's gonna be like a shocking before and after. Okay, let's go outside actually. Big plans for this space. I'm so excited. It's definitely not the patio that the tree house had, but this tree like hanging over our patio area is just so nice and yeah, I just can't wait to lounge out here all the time. I really hope you enjoyed that tour. I love seeing into people's homes, so I hope you enjoyed catching a glimpse of my new home, especially before we do anything to it. And I hope my design plans gives you a sense of what we are planning for this space. This is all very surreal. <laughs> But it also just feels like so right. And that's exactly how I felt when I moved into the tree house. It was just like the right thing to do. I don't know, I can't really explain it, but the space already feels like me and Noah's, even though we haven't put any of our touches on it yet. <laughs> bye. <laughs> okay, bye guys. That's it, that was the tour. I really hope you guys love our new apartment. I really hope you're excited for the My Rental Reno series that will be launching, I think next week actually, is the first episode, the first makeover. When you guys are watching this, Noah and I will have been moved in and hopefully settled into our new place. And you guys get to come along on the journey and watch us decorate it from start to finish. I'm so, so excited. Thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you guys use my link and my code in the description box to start your own website and to get 10% off your first website or domain. And next week I will see you guys for the first episode in My Rental Reno season three. I am making over our patio. I'm so excited. See you guys then and thanks for watching. Bye.